Again, it's another Sunday night at 10 p.m. My name is Danilo Ignacio, and I sit beside my homie. Hugh Green, what they do? Yes, sir. Well, we know probably a lot of you right now are getting ready for holiday. Memorial Day weekend. Because tomorrow is Memorial Day. Black people, you are hoodwinked and bamboozled. Because I guarantee you, as you go celebrate, if they call it that, Like I was talking about on the last show when I was speaking about these holidays and the millions and millions of dollars that we spent, here is another holiday. And I guarantee you, the majority of you that's on Facebook and Pinterest and the social media talking about black power has spent a whole bunch of money in this white system. Holiday ain't nothing a holiday. Because I guarantee you, none of you are talking about Sandra Bland. None of you are talking about Mike Brown. Trayvon Martin and the countless other people that have died within the last two years but you celebrating somebody else memorializing the people that continue to oppress you mentally and physically what you feel about that life man brother man this is um well like I say man I, I, it's, it's kind of sad you know what I'm saying how, the, how the, you know what I'm saying the system is like that you know what I mean and then we all tend to go out, you know what I'm saying, and do, you know what I'm saying? It's like, to me, it feel like it, like nothing ever ever happened. Just, hey, we just keep, you know, keep it moving and stuff. That's what it seems like, you know what I'm saying? But, um, well, well, the problem with, with black people, African American, I'm talking to both of you right now. Yeah. You're too passive, and you believe everything that the white system tells you. Yeah. Because some of these same people that's, going to be memorializing on Memorial Day are the same so-called conscious people that sit on social media screaming injustice for blacks. You want to find justice? Don't spend your money. Because I guarantee you, people are out there this weekend spending hundreds of dollars going into the store to buy barbecue, gas, liquor, Renting halls and places for holidays that has nothing to do with you. And then you want to know why black people are in the situation that they're in in America. That's the conversation that we're having. That's what we do here on Reality Bites. Stay tuned. We're only just getting started. All right, all right. LPMR Speaks Talk Radio. Join the conversation. Is something biting in your reality? Call now, 646-580-6603. Or email us at realitybitesradio at gmail.com. And tell us what's on your mind. Leave a question or a comment, and we'll get back to you live on air, Sunday at 10 p.m. Always remember, tune in every Sunday at 10 p.m. Live for No Holds Barred Conversation with Danilo Ignacio and Hugh Green, right here on LPMR.207. Let the world know who you are. LPMR.207. What's good? This is your boy Lifeo. Hey, tune in to LPMR.207 in the mix. Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Your life in the and mix. And Saturdays, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Playing some of the hottest indie artists out here. Go to mobileonlineradio.net. That's mobileonlineradio.net. LPMR.207. Just go ahead and check that out. I know you're going to dig this. My weapon of choice, the turntable small experiments music The following is a public service message from this station, the U.S. Department of Justice, the Crime Prevention Coalition, and the Ad Council. Now you know how many children die from gunfire on our streets every day. That's ten too many. Find out how to help stop the violence. Call 1-800-WE-PREVENT. Not one more dead child. Not one more grieving family. Not one more. Bimbo. Dog. Fat pig. Real quotes from Donald Trump about women. 
A person who is very flat-chested is very hard to be a 10. I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. Look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? She had the height. She had the beauty. She was crazy. But these are minor details. I like kids. I mean, I won't do anything to take care of them. I'll supply funds, and she'll take care of the kids. You know, it really doesn't matter what they write, as long as you've got a young and beautiful piece of ass. That must be a pretty picture. You dropping to your knees. There was blood coming out of her eyes. Blood coming out of her... wherever. Women. You have to treat them like shit. This is how Donald Trump talks about our mothers, our sisters, our daughters. LPM Speaks Talk Radio. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the show. Yo, you already know this where reality bites. Because uh, what we're trying to do, again, for people that don't know who I am, my name is Danilo Ignacio, the owner and operator of a business called The Media Handlers. And what we want to do is bring conscious television. Now that LIFO, LPMR, and Media Handlers are brother and sister company, now we're taking over the same charge on radio. It's time for us to remain conscious. It's not enough to be conscious when you're on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest. You have to be conscious 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and wear it like your best coat. Yes. Because you're not being aware of what's going on around you. Again, back to this Monday holiday. Ah. Same thing with Christmas. You know, the best thing my mother did for me, may she rest in peace, was when I started engulfing myself in the American culture when I came here from Panama, for those that don't know that I'm Hispanic or whatever they want to call it, you know, I'm black. But in that case, what my mother taught me, I remember the day I came in the house and you're all filled with the Christmas nonsense. My mother took me to the living room. We stood looking into the living room and she pointed to the window and she said, Danilo, we live in an apartment building, not a house. We don't have a chimney. So no white man is going to come from the chimney, set up a tree and leave gifts for you. Any gifts that you're going to get is going to come from me. And it's going to come from me because this last year you've done better than the year before. That was a life-changing time for me because, first of all, it took the blinders off. What white man is coming to give anybody any present? For that matter, what black man is doing that? They don't even know you. These are holidays that have been put together and designed for corporate businesses to make their money. No more, no less. Then our black and African-American brothers and sisters that live in America take it and make it something resounding to their hearts. You want to take off days from work. You want to spend extra money. That is a direct coalition to why we die in this country. We spend our money frivolously. And we don't care about anything. You walk into a store and they don't say hello to you and they disrespect you. He's still on the phone playing with his his, his, his iPhone and you've got your merchandise on the table and you sit there and wait. Walk out. And I mean for any color. Walk out. Hey, hey, Danilo, hey, I want to I just to get on this right real quick before you change the subject, man. I want to bring that back because that, 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 it's the same thing, like, in the, even in the movies, you know what I mean? And it menace to society, you know what I'm saying? Boys in the hood, you know what I'm saying? When, when, you know what I'm saying? I started seeing that when I was going to the store, too, as well. You know what I'm saying? And, like, it would hurt, hurt up and by, hurt up and by. You know what I'm saying? And so, I understand what you mean by that part well, right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a part of America's culture. Yeah. No, America has made billions of dollars off of black people. Those that were born in this country, as we refer to them as African Americans. Because again, the creed that they taught you was do for your country. Yeah. Never said your country was going to do for you. Sure, sure, sure. So we make other people rich while we barely can push a key. And I'm talking to you whether you consider yourself black or African American. 
because those that I will refer to as blacks, some of the people that come from the Caribbean islands and the Latino islands and all these other places that hold the beautiful color of our skin, mm -hmm. come into America and then put a blanket of America's bullshit on their back and forget who they really are and begin to do the same things that we have to help our brothers and sisters that were born under this oppression out of. Today, I was on my Facebook page, and for all those people that want to join us on Facebook, it's a great little page. We've got a lot of great people there. I thank all the people that make the Urban Life page what it is, with the great information, the great conversations, and even the great debates. You know, let's talk about debating. My African-American brothers and sisters, what I'm about to say to you is in direct coalition, again, to why these white police officers can kill you. Because, see, in the rest of the world, people debate. People even argue. But what I've come to see for my black brothers and sisters that were born here, because you do not have an avenue of power, the only powerful thing that you are able to do is fight, yell, scream. And none of those things can persuade or change a person's mind from the way they feel. We've got to learn to debate each other without taking it personally. I've gotten into debates with people online that's talking about they'll fly into New York to F me up. Hmm. Or go on and spend that money. <laughs> and come knock on my door. You in my hood. What you think you're going to do? <laughs> it's the ridiculous, ignorant nature of spouting off at the mouth. Yeah, yeah. And we're very good at that. Yeah, man. With nothing behind it. Because most of the people got bills and children. Where you find you do what? You an assassin now? You work for the government? <laughs> Yo. Yo. We have to get rid of this rhetoric and start talking real. I'm going to show you another quick situation so everybody's on the same page with me. Because a lot of people in America don't know the definition of words. So you might not understand what rhetoric is. It's something that you continue to say and say, and there's no belief system in it. You won't do it. You just say it because it sounds good. The rhetoric that we utilize comes from white supremacy. I constantly keep seeing our African-American brothers and sisters talking about us killing us. Let me explain to you. All of the us's are killing all of the us's. Black us's ain't killing no more than white us's. No less than Asian us's. No less than Latino us's, all right here in America. But if the system is giving you your information, is owned and operated by the same people that are suppressing you, do you really think that information is going to be prevalent or even include you? So you walk around talking America's rhetoric, putting your own black people down in front of the world. So when you got these white people or we got our messed up in the mind black brothers and sisters that see you making comments against your own people in that form, what you think that does? That secures them that the nonsense that they believe is true and is right. Now, here goes the de direct coalition to how these white police officers are killing us in the street. Because they're scared. That's what they use. They ain't scared of nobody else, but they're scared of black people. They're scared of black men. Now they're scared of black women because they're treating black women in the same fashion that they've been beating us up for years and killing us. We've got to learn to talk and stop trying to fight the world because you can't beat everybody. When I hear some of my brothers and sisters that were born here talk about this topic, it's very heartfelt from them. Because some of them say that they've been in that situation with their own people. Yeah. You've got to start loving who you are on demand. When you see the color of the skin and you recognize it's a black person, drop your bullshit and begin to love. Because see, that's what the white man do.
Do you notice? I forgot the young man's name, the gentleman that killed the uh, the parishioners in the church, the black parishioners in the church. If you notice, white people had nothing to say about that until the news media came out with propaganda. They talk about he's sick and he's this and he's that. But if it was a black person that did the same, he'd be up underneath the jail getting ready to get executed. We've got to learn to change the rhetoric that we were born in, open your conscious mind's eye, and question everything. Question me, damn it. If you don't believe or you don't understand what we're talking about here on Reality Bites, pick up that phone. Call that number. Send us an email and we can start the dialogue. Because see, the biggest thing that's missing out of America is black people having the ability to talk the way they feel without concern for any other color. When I get online and I post things about being black and the power of being black, I have people that inbox me, you're not scared, brother. You know how these white people do, brother. I explain to people, my life does not belong to me. And because my life does not belong to me, no one that can shoot me, stab me, beat me, can really do anything to me. The day I leave this earth, it was ordained by God and not Jesus. Preach, my brother, preach. So when you get that attitude, for all of you that rival in Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, don't you understand that is the attitude they had to take on? That's what they had to understand in order to get us to where we are at today. And all our black brothers are out here vaulting. You want to fight somebody that's your own color. You want to beat on your girlfriend or your wife. But then when the white man says something, somehow in your mind, you can equate it to, oh, he didn't really mean it like that. You got to wake up. We've got some, uh, actually we have two emails and we have a caller that after this break, we're gonna bring into the session because we want everyone to be able to get their opportunity to ask the question, pose a point. Let's start dialogue. Stay tuned, we'll be back in a few minutes. You are tuned in too. Come on and say it with me. Reality Bite. What's biting in your reality? LPMR Speaks. Did you know that black and black crime is a made up issue people raise just to make us seem out of control? Yes, more than 85% of violent crimes against blacks is perpetuated by other black people. But the exact same thing is true for white on white crime. Our violence is segregated, just like your neighborhood. Think it over. Your mind and the rest will follow. Think it over. Blind, don't be so shallow. Free your mind. Bimbo, dog, fat pig. Real quotes from Donald Trump about women. A person who is very flat-chested is very hard to be a 10. I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. Look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? She had the height. She had the beauty. She was crazy. But these are minor details. I like kids. I mean, I won't do anything to take care of them. I'll supply funds, and she'll take care of the kids. You know, it really doesn't matter what they write. As long as you've got a young and beautiful piece of ass. That must be a pretty picture. You drop into your knees. There was blood coming out of her eyes. Blood coming out of her... wherever. Women. You have to treat them like ass. This is how Donald Trump talks about our mothers, our sisters, our daughters. What's good? This your boy Life O. Hey, tune in to LPMR.207 Indie Mix Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. And Saturdays, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Playing some of the hottest indie artists out here. Hey, yo, and don't forget, just go ahead and check that out by going to the mobileonlineradio.net. Once again, that's mobileonlineradio.net. And also check out Media Handlers. MSMTV at MediaHandlers.com Hey, yo. Yes, sir. And when on Facebook, search Urban 
Life Channel and come hang out with us on our timeline. You can also connect with us on Instagram. Search Media Handlers. On Twitter, search Media Handler. Get to know the Media Handlers group. We speak media. Media. The revolution will be digitized. Black people make up 22% of the poor in this country, but only get 14% of the benefits, while white people make up 42% of the poor and get 69% of the benefits. Which is weird because aren't we supposed to be the Michael Jordans of welfare? Think it Free over. Your mind and the rest will follow. Think it over. Blind, don't be so shallow. Free your mind. In a word, breastfeeding is amazing. It's empowering. It's the best thing I can do for my baby. It's rewarding. While every mom has a different way of describing breastfeeding, we all need help and encouragement. So know that support is there for you, from your family or from your friends. And at womenshealth.gov slash it's only natural. Breastfeeding, it's only natural. Mother's love, mother's milk. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. My weapon of choice, the turntables. Welcome. Shut down and process. LPMR Speaks. Talks Radio. We are controlling transmission. Get ready for no holds barred conversation on reality and how it bites. This show is not for the faint of hearts. Let's get rid of the rhetoric and non-truths and start talking for real. real. With topics such as, you black or are you African American? Police brutality, their fault or ours? Is money really the root of all evil? So join Danilo Ignacio and Hugh Green every Sunday at 10 p.m. live for Reality Bites right here on LPMR.2. Go to mobileonlineradio.net and tune in now. Just get ready for work, 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 work. It's to me, I'll be work, 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 work. It's to me, do me, da, 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 da. It's to me, but that work. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the show. Yo, you already know this where reality bites. And um we got the um some 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 comments that came in. You know what I mean? Yes sir. One for one one from um Lil Tone from Point Siena. You know what I'm saying? He's an artist also. You wanna check his music out, you can vibe into LPMR 207. We play his music, you know what I mean? Hey, and um another one is um also from Black man, but um, we gon' we gonna get back with that. But let's go ahead and get into this um tone tone um topic right here. Yo yo, shout out to the radio station, man. Uh, dropping topic on y'all brains, man, to dwell on. Um, and it's about how we in the urban community hate to see each other doing well, and how we rather hate on each other than help one another. With that crab in the bucket mentality we have, you know, we as a people can't grow if we continue this way, man. But nobody, and I mean nobody, is willing to take the initiative and step up and be a man about it and, and help each other out as brothers. Because truth be told, we out here are kings and queens, man, and. We've been taught to hate ourselves, man. But yo, check me out. Thank you, thank you so much, Tone. Little Tone for that. Bless but what I will say to that is, again, we talk rhetoric. Black people are helping each other every single day of the week. One of the biggest problems is, again, the reason why we're here on the radio station, the reason why I own a digital television station, because our information doesn't get out to the world. And when our information is unable to get out to the world, then the prime thing is we're listening to what others say about us. Yeah. I know many people on Facebook that own their businesses that are cutting and slashing prices for our own people. That is helping our people. See, when we talk about assisting and helping, then we got to understand what we're doing. 
When we talk about assisting and helping, me assisting somebody, getting their visuals out to the world, don't mean I'm doing it for free. Right, right. Because what y'all don't understand is you come into somebody with what you want to make money off of, but you want me to give you what I do for free. Where they do that at? No. This is the rhetoric filled nature that we're involved in here in America. Because the white man tell you black people don't come together and we eat it up. This is the first time I've seen unity amongst us worldwide, or at least in America. And I've been in this country for way over 25 years. So what I will say is we have to start believing in ourselves. You believe that when you breathe in, you breathe in air, whether you can see it or not, right? We not we might not be doing it to the points that we should be, but we are. You got to remember the information that we receive on the American broadcast system. And when I say that, I don't mean television alone. I mean the radio stations, your terrestrial radio stations are all owned by the same exact people that want to suppress us and put us in our graves. So they will never give us the true information that we should get. We have to be able to be the owners of that. That's the reason why me, Danilo Ignacio, has started a digital television channel online. And that's the same reason why Mr. Lifo started LPMR. Because we have to own our own systems in this country. Now, back to your question. We are building. We are growing. Online every day, I I know entrepreneurs that are helping black people get to the places that they need. Now, with that word help, or I can call it assist, either which way that you want to receive this word. Assisting another black person, aiding another black person is not doing it for free. Because first of all, let me give this to you straight. You can't come to me and want me to create a video for you and not get something out of it when that video is what you're going to lead off and use to make your money for your entity, company, or your talent. So stop thinking when a brother or sister wants to help you that it means it's for free. Nothing in life is free. Hey. Black people don't have situations that we can tell who we are. So because of that, we're unable to create the oneness that we need to look like in front of the public so we can end up doing it back door. Because see, here in New York, I'm going to tell you, when the crime rate goes up, you know what they do? They start putting on television that the crime rate is going down that the police are doing an excellent job. You see, they go the information now. Now it feeds into your brain waves. So if you're a thief right now, you're looking twice before you think about snatching a pocketbook. Yeah, well, you're got, thinking twice before walking into a window. Go ahead, Lifo. Yeah, I, I mean, I got I got something there. I'm saying respond. I'm saying respond to what your tone said. And I understand. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like Bruce Lee. Like, it's like... Like a master, you know what I'm saying? Your sensei, you know what I'm saying? You, you're in training, you know what I'm saying? And you have the, the, the one that trained you how to do everything, then you, you know what I'm saying? You try to go over and be better than him. So I kind of understand what he what he mean by like, you know what I'm saying? The crap in the bucket mentality, you know what I'm saying? Well, well like instead of working together, you know what I'm saying? You go to, you start, you start going against him and then, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know what I'm saying, building stuff, Building to make it even better to have, you know what I'm saying, side by side, the master and the student work together. You know what I'm saying? The student runs off and then go ahead and do his own thing. It's, and that, go, that goes through every other different, you know what I'm saying, with every other race too, as well. Well, what I would say is, I hear what you're saying about the master and the sensei, but I don't really think that we should be putting each other on different types of levels. If I'm helping somebody that might be an entertainment artist, in factuality my business might be bigger than theirs yeah but they might make a hit yeah and their hit is gonna make other people that want to hit come to me yeah what the crab in the barrel syndrome is not a black thing see because one of the things that we've got to learn to stop doing is we 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 speak too much french right because we ain't all doing that what i will say is when you recognize it get away from it 
Why continue to work with somebody that doesn't want to work with you and keep yourself frustrated? There are brothers and sisters that are out there. I meet them every day that is willing. This is a great topic that Little Tone brought up. We're going to have to continue this next week. We actually are stepping over 30 minutes. See you guys next week, same time. Reality Bites. No worries for anybody that came in late if you did not catch the show from the beginning. Coming up next right here on LPMR, Reality Bites in playback mode. Stay tuned. Playback mode. You're currently tuned into Reality Bites in playback mode. LPMR speaks. Back at it again. You are now tuned into LPMR.207 Radio. You are listening to Reality Bites. First, we want to start off by thanking everybody that was a part of Reality Bites, whether you called in or listened, with over a thousand views on our very first show, our premiere show. We understand that this is the conversation that people want to be a part of. Whether you like it or don't like it, you are listening, and that's what it's about. It's time for us to have our own conversations owned and operated and talked about by us, we, the people. To continue great conversation and expanding our mental abilities to figure out how we're going to gain freedom and make America great once again. So in efforts to broaden our horizons as well as yours, we are giving other broadcasters the opportunity to get rebroadcast right here on Reality Bites. For more information, shoot us an email, realitybites at gmail.com. And if you're like me, I don't have time for the snail mail, so you can always contact us at 646-580-6603. Leave us a message, or somebody might just answer the phone and talk to us about getting your program right here on Reality Bites Radio. So coming up next right here for you is a little show that we call No Guts, No Glory. This show is based on understanding, take it to God, take it to God. We got all these other things going on before you bring it to your father, Lord and Savior. And that's what we'll be talking about on this show. I'm actually co-hosting this particular show with Dr. Carla B. Jones from out of Atlanta, Georgia. So get ready to sit back and enjoy No Guts, No Glory in playback mode right here on Reality Bites Radio. Playback mode. Playback mode. In playback mode. Playback mode. In playback mode. You are now tuned into the No Guts, No Glory show. My name is Danilo Ignacio and I always sit here with the lovely Miss Dr. Carla B. Jones. Good morning, Atlanta. Good morning everyone i hope you've had a spectacular week whether good or bad or whether you might think that it didn't go the way that you thought we're about to get your life on course this is what we've been doing and this is part of what the no guts no glory show does for the new year of things we want to be out here and just bring in great conversation to people about getting your life right getting things straight in order to be a good business person you got to be a good person Danilo, yes. I want to ask you something. What's going on? It just came to me this morning that um, mm-hmm. during our series where we were talking about um, the first one was partnerships, relationships, right. kinships, um, friendships. Right. Our first series, mm-hmm. and we came out of that with the word ship. Ship right. is the the operative word in all all of those exactly. scenarios. And as we get a ship, we have passengers. Mm -hmm. So it was about knowing when to let someone on the ship and when to throw somebody overboard off the ship. Time to go. And then the next series was about Uh, business. Right. You know, and being in right relationship with God. That's right. So that we can then be in right relationship in business. Come on. You know how we would call God our partner, but we never seek him for anything. Right, right. And so just, you know, this morning, and I was thinking, what about if somebody, a passenger got on your ship mm-hmm. and you weren't able to pull up the drawbridge or, or, or what is that, that we were talking about, the, the cruise ship, and you yeah. you can't get them off because some people don't know when to leave. Right, and some, some people don't know <laughs> when, when to put somebody off. Exactly, so 
you know, I was just thinking about, they can bring about a storm. Oh. You see, because they are actually going in the wrong direction. Now, I call that the storms of life. So, what would you do if you found yourself in that situation? Now, you're in the storm of life because you got the wrong person that you gave a ticket or that you didn't show the exit or you know and so now you open this ship you decided and you decided to give and, them a free and, sample and exactly. bring them on in and well, so how do, how do you what do you do with that how do you learn how to live above the storms of life oh, love with the wrong love. person in the huh. ship well sometimes what you gotta first do is evaluate the situations that okay. bring the wrong things on your ship. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Because many times when we out here seeking and searching and finding and playing and joking and laughing, mm-hmm. we bring the wrong things to us. I mean, look at how, <clears throat> excuse me, many times, sorry, women, our ladies, I love you, but you always hear this thing, I keep attracting the same kind of man. Why? Wow. Because you keep putting the same thing out there. Okay. So once they get on the ship. Okay. Then all hell begins to break loose. Wow. Because you brought something on here that shouldn't even been on here because you keep putting the wrong thing out. I'm looking for a good man, but you in the bar. Mm. I'm looking for a good woman, but you out on the corner. She ain't out on the corner. Wow. So then once you bring it in, it, it, it starts causing chaos because it shouldn't have been in there in the first place. So is that like a mindset? Is that what I'm understanding? Your mind is set to attract those things from the universe? Mindset and part of humanality. Because I see many times people are so wanting people or other things around them that they can't love and connect with themselves to make themselves stronger, to get the right right information out of themselves in order to do the right things. Okay, so that's kind of like my philosophy. I've always had a philosophy that change and success starts on the inside That's before right. it shows up on the outside. That's right. As a man thinketh, so, so is he. Come on. And then the word tells us, right. greater is he that's within you come on. than he that's of the world. So would right. I be safe to say that your flesh is of the world, right. but that spirit man right. is the within you is supposed to be greater. Right. Now, when they talk mm-hmm. about greater, you know, it's funny when you start growing into who you need to be okay. and you start respecting what you You've learned in retrospect in becoming a better person. Okay. Uh, Sometimes you run across people like I, I guess I have that type of thing, where people, when they come across me, well, I ain't even going because he don't look like he gonna mess around like that. <laughs> he look like he just cut you up if you tell him the wrong thing. Wow. Because that's now who I become. That's what I've owned. If it ain't right, I don't want it around. Me. That's right. If it ain't what it need to be, don't even bring it to me. Okay. And it takes a lot of inner love because a lot of that time. It takes a lot of guts. In glory. It takes a lot of guts for God to get the glory. Right. Because to to me, for mm-hmm. me, glory is when you, as you say, have come into your own. Yes. You now understand you're lined up with God's will for your life. So the glory can come through now. Mm-hmm. But it took guts for you to get to that point. So when it come back to what you were saying. When somebody come in, there's two ways you got to look at it. How they sneak past that? Right. Or what is this what we need to go through here to make me the better person? Because sometimes some storms that you go through, when you arise and get your head above water and the sun starts shining again, and here go that retrospect. You can look at what has happened and say, I learned. That's not where I want to be. Is that kind of like Homeland Security? Exactly. You know, you know how uh, I think Homeland Security was designed to keep the terrorists out. Right. So we need to do some Homeland, some security. spiritual security. Homeland right. Security, because, see, so that we make sure that we not get into all of this stuff. Right. Right. Them. No terrorists. Well, I done gave them all my money. You gave them your money because that's what you decided to do when you accepted them in. So it is impos- it, it is possible to live above the storms of life. Oh, yes. And all of that is based on decision. You got to yes. have the guts yes. to make the decision mm-hmm. that you're going to put a homeland security policy and in stand, place and, and get stand it wrong. alone sometimes. Right, sometime. right. Because sometimes right. you got to lock it down. Clink, <laughs> clink, and let nobody in right now. 
Okay. So you're not gonna let anybody in. It's gonna be you and right. God. That's it, right now. Right. When I did my three years, when people said, "Well, how did you get to the defining of making a business and getting the business going and all of that?" That's because it was clank. <laughs> Nobody in but God. That's right. Okay. We and under Orange. Was it Orange? Orange. With, home, with, with Homeland Security. Homeland we Security, yes. Orange. We went Orange. You and God, you and God, the Holy Spirit. Right. <laughs> we ain't flying planes. We ain't do quack, quack. <laughs> Nobody. So when she called at 1245, I'm uh, not even going to answer. Okay, because you're going to live above problem. the storm you know, of life. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So here comes the storm. Mm -hmm. 1245. We all know that's that booty call hour. 1245. Mm -hmm. Ring. You guesstimating on if you're going to answer. Cuck, <laughs> No reason to pick up the phone. Danilo, you a mess, okay? It's I'm just, just going to tell truth. you just a mess. You got to get there. You got to build it. You got to be a part of it in order to get there. So when you get out into the world and a tail comes shaking past you and you look and they look at you, I ain't even messing with him. He too writing exactly what's going on. Ain't no storm going on in, in that life. Well, and then because men are visual, mm -hmm. just in defense of uh, my women, men right. are very visual. Right. And not to mention, I found that they kind of opinionated too. Because I uh -huh. have had so many guys that will come up and they'll say different things to me. Yep. As if that wasn't an opinion or a validation point for me. I, I see you. I understand what you're saying. You are now in tune with the No Guts, No Glory show. I'm sitting here with the doctor, Miss Carla B. Jones, and we're talking about life on course. I used to be that preacher, telling people what to do, judging everybody, full of pride and self-consumed. You one day, I felt so hard, lost my faith in God, I couldn't even pray. So I say, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, you never fall from You are currently pray. listening to Dietrich Haddon and oh, Big yeah, Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Sinners, Saved by Grace oh, Remix. Let go. Currently tuned into reality box in playback mode. LPMR speaks. Talk radio. My grandmama started me at Sunday school, cool, went in the afternoon too, got the word doing Sunday service, Easter speeches always made me nervous, and now my sermons heard over the globe like a pastor speaking in your mega churches, a powerball, make mega millions, all for my kids and my children's children, materialism can't take it with you, why? Only your soul is worth the weight and gold, only the strong survive till they get old, then it's time to meet your maker, so, what they say when you get to the pearly gates, open sesame or tooth the gates of hell, you wait for the devil himself to introduce you to eternal flame and say, oh lord, I'm sorry, oh, I promise, I'ma be good, ignore my problems I receive you, ain't no more commas No drama, no baby mamas So I walk through the valley of the shadows I'm full of life cause the light that you passed on Never had those doubts of faith because the harder times We got is past those Playback, no You're currently tuned into Reality Box In Playback I've been a sinner, I've been a good boy, I've been a new, the son of a preacher, you go and figure, I did all my wrong as a believer, I found God, I heard him call, right of my sin in the midst of my fall, said I didn't have to be perfect at all, because of his love I'm standing tall, the devil's a lie, he's a deceiver, look at me now, I'm a new creature, judging someone that's like pulling a trigger, you kill him before they can meet the redeemer, Damn. he's a forgiver,
Well, as you know, we're in playback mode right here on Reality Bites. Believe and on that. this session of playback, we are playing back No Guts, No Glory. We've got a lot more coming up, but of course, we've got to pause for the cause. Stay tuned. My name is Danilo Ignacio. We'll be back with more. LPMR Speaks Talk Radio. The following is a public service message from this station, the U.S. Department of Justice, the Crime Prevention Coalition, and the Ad Council. Now you know how many children die from gunfire on our streets every day. That's 10 too many. Find out how to help stop the violence. Call 1-800-WE-PREVENT. Not one more dead child. Not one more grieving family. Not one more. My weapon of choice, the turntables. Welcome. Shut down in process. LPMR Speaks. Talk Radio. Real talk, real talk. <laughs> Transmission. Get ready for no holds barred conversation on reality and how it bites. This show is not for the faint of hearts. Let's get rid of the rhetoric and non truths and start talking for real. real. With topics such as you black or are you African American? Police brutality, their fault or ours? <laughs> Is money really the root of all evil? So join Danilo Ignacio and Hugh Green every Sunday at 10 p.m. live for Reality Bites right here on LPMR.207. Go to mobileonlineradio.net and tune in now. LPMR Speaks. Talk Radio. Hi, I'm Dr. Carla B. Jones. And I'm Danilo Ignacio. We've got a lot more coming up right here on No Guts, No Glory. Now tell us your story. Let the world know who you are. LPMR.207. What's good? This your boy Life Hey, Hey, tune in to LPMR.207 in the mix. Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Your life in the and mix. And Saturdays, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Playing some of the hottest indie artists out here. Go to mobileonlineradio.net. That's mobileonlineradio.net. LPMR.207. Just go ahead and check that out. I know you're going to dig this. My weapon of choice, the turntable small pyramids, music, playback, no, in playback, LPMR speaks, talk radio, so we are talking about life on course, it's all about getting it right, and living above the storms of life, yes, now we got a couple more things that we want to add to the mix, so we want to make sure that you get this part right before we get more into conversation and we want you to give us a call, remember, 404-622-4444, Okay, and um, t today we want to go ahead and do our gutsy dare. Yes. The gutsy dare uh, last week mm -hmm. was about not saying anything negative. Mm -hmm. You know, and then this week our gutsy dare is about being kind. Right. Love makes you kind. Kindness makes you likable. Mm -hmm. You see, love makes you kind, but kindness makes you likable. Right. And today our gutsy dare is going to be to do something kind mm -hmm. for someone. In addition to not saying anything negative negative today, I'm going to need you to do something kind for someone today. Okay. And then I want those results of the outcome emailed to contact us at noguts.noglory.radio.com. No gut, contact us yes. at no guts, no glory, radio.com. Your results, because we're going to have a drawing. Right now. In 60 days. You right? can even do, uh, tell us, you can do it by writing an email to us. You can even send us a voice note, you know, because we're in the future of technology. So we want to accept it any which way that you want. But we want you to start sharing with us because we want to share with you. We want to be able to challenge ourselves to become better people. Right. Tomorrow. And I, I'm really interested in the outcome because if you have a whole day of saying nothing negative mm -hmm. and then you've chosen someone to just randomly do something kind right. for, that right there is like... Uh, 
a change that will come over the person that's on the receiving end mm-hmm. that you can actually write about. As well as you. I think, you know, sometime when you do something nice for somebody, it's the, what I really heard was when people say, because it makes me feel good. It does for me mm-hmm. and usually for most people. Mm-hmm. And it's, it, you know, my grandmother had a saying it's better to give than to receive. Right. But I think that it's better to do both. Amen. Because the word tells us as a man, so of so shall he reap. Right. And so I don't want to be one sided in it. Mm. I, I am a firm believer that we should always look for people to show love because God is love. And isn't that some, a part of what I've always seen with people when when they kind of um, don't understand the fact that you have to have common sense with God? Okay, my mom always used that word common. Mm-hmm. I don't know if God's sense is common. But what I mean by common <laughs> sense is common, sometimes, common. You know, like, like when we grew up, you know, you get those people that they got a bill to pay the rent due, the rent due, and they're going to pray. They're going to pray on Monday. They're going to pray Tuesday. They're going to pray Wednesday. But, if you but they're not getting out there to do anything to get that money to but, get the rent. But that's contrary to what you, you know, what we said, thinking outside the box, mm-hmm. riding above the storm of life. Mm-hmm. That can't be common. Common is what people do in order to get those things done. Mm-hmm. Outside the box is what creative people do to make sure it gets done. I believe in being blessed outside the system. Right. So my, my thinking is never common. Right. I'm, I mean, even when I get up and pray in the morning i have this prayer lord bless me outside the system i want to jesus was a a cornerstone that the builders rejected right now if you know what a cornerstone looks like it's like a building Mm -hmm. and then there's a stone at the bottom that would make that whole building end up off balance Mm -hmm. you know and so if you don't put the exact right block in that place then the building is not gonna level because foundations are always settling right so you know i I just, you know, in my prayer life, mm. and and because I'm an avid person for business, mm. I'm truly God's girl for getting his business uh, ventures done. I always say, Lord, I'm just going to need you to bless me outside the system and create a situation in the world for business right. that will, that only I fit. Well, you know, only I fit. It's funny. Nobody else fit, Lord. Just, just me. Let me fit right there. I like mm-hmm. that because when we come back to the humanality of living right. life on an everyday basis, mm-hmm. I'm going to touch on the subject of even like the music and the culture of hip hop. You know, a lot of people say it's this, it's evil, it's bad, it's this, but it was designed in order to do better, get better, make things better. Because a lot of people that have gone through this musical system would have never had a dollar. They tell you that story themselves. So hip hop, am I understanding you? Because I don't really understand the whole, you know, persona of the hip hop uh, industry. The culture. Uh-huh. But you're saying it was designed to get things better. Better for some. Okay, so it's kind of like the wealth of the wicked being stored up for the righteous. Well, I guess you, know, you could say you could. innocent, but you, you know, again, you got to go back to what people's perception of wicked or good can be, because this music changed America. It defined uh, urban, because it's not to me, it's not an African American thing when it comes to the culture of hip hop. It became a defining nature of screaming out, uh, kind of what in the '60s everyone did to get us to where we're at today. By picketing like a, and marching. A, a and civil rights and movement. A in movement, music, in the music in, industry. In music that turned into a culture that has shaped the world. Right. I mean, when you started seeing the broadcast medium making commercials and sounding like us, I remember we were we knew that, that, that things had changed in America when you heard the 6 o'clock news anchor say bling bling. Oh, wow. And then they started putting these words in a dictionary. So sometimes when people look at things from an outside source looking in. A lot of this helped to mold a culture that is continuing to change the world. Not all of us are evil or bad or, you know, do the things that the Well, when I said wicked, nature. let me just go ahead and give you the spin on wicked. Uh-huh. That's not what I'm, I'm saying, and I don't want to come across as that. 
wicked can be just a mindset change. Right. A person no longer going to use their talents and gifts for what Satan wants to promote in this world. Right. And they've had a mindset that now I'm going to use these talents and gifts for God. So that's an exchange gotcha. too. The right. wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. The wicked and the righteous can be in the same person. Mm. It, it's just who you going to use your stuff for. Lord. Are mm. you going to use this here stuff for the devil or mm. are you going to use it for the Lord? Go back and to that, that, and you know, and, and that's making. pure motive versus ulterior motive. And what are you using your talent? No, no. Matter of fact, who are you using your talents and gifts for? That's what I'm talking about. Right. And so even, you know, like I say, in the prayer life that I have, God create a situation in this world that I'm the cornerstone for. Mm. All these talents and gifts that you give of me, mm. don't let nobody fit in it but me. Mm. Because I'm going to do it for you. I don't work for the devil. Mm. Period. On nothing. Even in my decision making, my being, who I am, I just let him make all my decisions and I do that with prayer because I'm determined to live my life above the storm. Now, I love that. And, you know, sometimes people, again, I guess it goes back to the decisions that you make when you say live above the storm. Live above, live the, above storm. the nonsense. Above live the above nonsense. Above the foolishness. Sometimes people say it's hard to get there. When, to me, if you've started dedicating and moving forward in it, it kind of becomes just a natural nature of who It's a natural nature, right. and then you've got to determine. Uh, one of the guys that worked for me mm -hmm. in the computer company, he said, Miss Jones, you're always just so nice and positive, and you don't see that because I purpose every day to be that. Uh -huh. No one gets that from me. Satan, his imps. None of these, you're not going to get that from me. Mm. I'm going to be positive because I purpose it. The word tells us, choose this day who you going to serve. I serve God. There's nothing negative in God, and I choose to get on that side. Now, if you with God, you get me. If you're not with God, you're not going to get me because people going to always hate what they don't understand. I think you call them haters. Yes, Is that what you <laughs> Yeah, hater, yeah. Hater raid. Something. My daughter said you you drinking hater raid. You know, but <laughs> and I think sometimes some of this is in in, in, in what's the word? I'll say indoctrinated mm -hmm. into people. Because I remember Brooklyn, growing up, mm -hmm. you walking down the street on the way to the store, a couple homies. You look across the street and there's a gentleman walking with yellow pants on and and burgundy hair. Right. Now, the assumption of that is within the crowd of people is, what's wrong with them? My thing was always, they doing their own thing. That's right. And then, you know, another thing is, I would like to know, can you plan to fail? Mm, can, you can you plan to fail? You yes. can plan to succeed, but can you plan to fail? Well, what's the so difference? Because I know you know these people. Oh, my, we well, about we were just talking about the playback. No. In OPMR Speaks Talk Radio. Well, I hope you enjoyed No Guts, No Glory. We'll have more of that. And of course, join us on Sundays at 10 p.m. for Reality Bites. Stay tuned right here on LPMR Radio for a lot more. My name is Danilo Ignacio. Until next time. Join the conversation. Is something biting in your reality? Call now. 646-580-6603. Or email us at realitybitesradio at gmail.com. And tell us what's on your mind. Leave a question or a comment and we'll get back to you live on air Sunday at 10 p.m. Always remember, tune in every Sunday at 10 p.m. Live for No Holds Barred Conversation with Danilo Ignacio yes, and Hugh Green right here on LPMR.207. I'm out. LPMR Speaks Talk Radio. We are controlling transmission. <laughs> we are controlling transmission. LPMR speaks talk radio. This show is not for the faint of hearts. Reality bites.
What's good? This your boy Life O. Hey, tune in to LPMR.207 Indie Mix Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. and Saturdays, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Playing some of the hottest indie artists out here. Hey yo, and don't forget, just go ahead and check that out by going to the mobileonlineradio.net. Once again, that's mobileonlineradio.net. And also check out Media Handlers, MSMTV, at MediaHandlers.com. Hey yo. Yes, sir. And when on Facebook, search Urban Life channel and come hang out with us on our timeline you can also connect with us on instagram search media handlers on twitter search media handler get to know the media handlers group we speak media media the revolution will be digitized back in the building and holding it down it's another sunday night at 10 p.m and you're now with Reality Bites. My name is Danilo Ignacio, and I'm right beside my boy. Hugh Green, what's going on, world? Yes, sir. And on this installment, we're actually going to pick up and talk about what happened online this week. Well, as you all know, Roots did come on, and uh, Snoop Dogg ended up making some comments that started a firestorm online. He said we need to forget about all these slave ships and worry about who we are today. And I actually concur with him. What about you? Uh, I, I do agree myself. I do agree myself with um, Big Dog said, man. That's for real, real true talk. So what we're going to do in this installment of Reality Bites is we're going to play for all those people that didn't hear it. We're going to recap and play Snoop Dogg and what he said. And then right after that, we're going to put Roland Martin's response to Snoop. And then we need to get into it. Let's talk about it. The phone lines will be open. You are now ready and in connect with the next installment of Reality Bites. LPMR Speaks. Talk Radio. This show is not for the faint of hearts. Black people make up 22% of the poor in this country, but only get 14% of the benefits, while white people make up 42% of the poor and get 69% of the benefits. Which is weird, because aren't we supposed to be the Michael Jordans of welfare? (laughs) Think it over. mind and the rest will follow. Think it over. blind, don't be so shallow. Free your mind. When you see that you've got CEOs making 300 times uh, what the average worker's making, you know, the deck is stacked in favor of those at the top. I want it to be back where it was when I came of age, where my mom, who never got to go to college, could see her daughter go to law school. We need to have people believing that their work will be rewarded. So I'm going to do everything I can to try to get that deck reshuffled so being middle class means something again. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. Bimbo, dog, fat pig. Real quotes from Donald Trump about women. A person who is very flat-chested is very hard to be a 10. I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. Look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? She had the height. She had the beauty. She was crazy. But these are minor details. I like kids. I mean, I won't do anything to take care of them. I'll supply funds, and she'll take care of the kids. You know, it really doesn't matter what they write. As long as you've got a young and beautiful piece of That must be a pretty picture. You dropping to your knees. There was blood coming out of her eyes. Blood coming out of her... wherever. Women. You have to treat them like This is how Donald Trump talks about our mothers, our sisters, our daughters. LPMR Speaks. Talk Radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We back on, back on. This is where reality bites. Yo, Dinalo, what we got going on right now, man? Well, first thing is everyone should know by this point on Sunday that the one, the only, the greatest of all times has passed away and left this earth, but he is always going to be with us. Cassius Clay is what they called him. We know him as the Honorable Muhammad Ali. 
we send blessings out to his family and love and all of the uh, beautiful things that he's given us in our life through his strength of being a black man in America. We thank you. Thank you, thank you. Blessing, blessing to the family, yes, as well. Muhammad Ali will be very amazing. He did a lot for the, for the, for the country. So, salute, salute, once again. So, first we'll sit here and we'll play Snoop Dogg. And, you know, the man was just talking what he believed and what he feel. And from what I can see, a lot of us believe the same thing. So, let's get into this session. Listen up. Yo. No disrespect, but I can't watch no motherfucking more black movies where niggas getting dogged out, 12 years of slave, Roots, Underground. I can't watch none of that shit. Sick of this shit. How the fuck they gonna put Roots on on Memorial Day? They gonna just keep beating that shit in our heads or how they did us, huh? I mean, I don't understand America. They just wanna just keep showing the abuse that we took hundreds and hundreds of years ago. But guess what? We taking the same abuse. Think about that part. When y'all gonna make a motherfucking series about the success that black folks is having? The only success we have is Roots and 12 Years a Slave and shit like that, huh? Fuck y'all, I ain't watching that shit. And I advise you motherfuckers that's real niggas like myself, fuck them television shows. Let's create our own shit based on the day. How we live and how we inspire people today. Black is what's real. Fuck that old shit. All right now, all right now. You heard, you heard, you heard big homie. Let's go ahead and say, get the response from Mr. Martin. Now, here's what I find to be real interesting, Tom. Here you have Snoop Dogg talking about uh, how he's a real nigga. Well, guess what, Snoop? Had you actually watched Root, you would have heard the character tell Kunta Kente that he was a nigga, and he said, no, I'm a Mandika warrior. Maybe if Snoop actually watched Root, he would realize that he's not uh, the N-word. Also, but here's what gets me. You had what? Roots? 12 years a slave? Uh, and what else? All of the, what's up with all of these slave films as if it's just been a plethora of slavery movies that have come out uh, in history. But not only that, Tom, it's what I love. You will never find somebody Jewish who says, you know what, it's way too many Holocaust films. Can we just move on? Can we stop bringing up the Holocaust? Tom, check this out. Schindler's List, Sophie's Choice, Life is Beautiful, Holocaust, The Pianist, Train of Life. Fateless, Playing for Time, The Gray Zone, Seven Beauties, The Counterfeiters, Amen, Angry Harvest. The list goes on and on and on. And those are Holocaust films only in the last 10 years. The fundamental problem I have is this here. Slavery happened. Slavery is real. And too many Americans want to deny what took place in this country. The reality is black folks are survivors since the first slave touched in Jamestown, Virginia in 1619. But here's what I also am confused by. Snoop Dogg says they should be making this. I checked IMDB.com. Snoop Dogg has 85 television and movie credits. He talked about successful African Americans. The best success story he's done is Soul Plane. <laughs> now, I'm trying to understand. You have the potential to change the game, but you want to complain about somebody else. But also... I got a little problem when Snoop Dogg, who is the producer of porn flicks, is talking about changing the face in terms of successful African Americans. How about this, Snoop? There's an independent film, Dilroy Lindo will play Marcus Garvey. Will you invest? Will you be a producer? We also have other movies that you could also be doing. How about that? But when you slam Roots... And when you say we should boycott it, what you're saying is, oh, no, we should learn those things. When the fact of the matter is, we should be learning those things, but not just Roots. Also, other multiple movies. I wonder if Snoop Dogg did an Instagram post on the movie Race that came out dealing with Jesse Owens. I wonder if Snoop Dogg was going to do an Instagram post on documentary on the 17 other blacks who were actually uh, in the Olympics in 1936. Oh, we can go down the line, Snoop, if you want to. No, here's what I'm sick of, black folks. I'm sick of us saying we want to see more stories. Then when the movie comes out, we say, well, no, not that story. Not, not, we, we don't want to see Red Tails. We want to see something else. We want to go back to before slavery. How many of y'all even have those books on your bookshelves? Mm. Wow. See, that's what I need to understand. And so I would say to Snoop, why don't you stop smoking weed and actually bother to call Will Packer or Ava DuVernay 
a call, Spike Lee, on a countless African Americans out there who are trying to make those films and looking for folks like you who are going to put their money where their mouth is as opposed to their money on some good weed. All I'm saying is this. We need all stories being told. And if more Americans can own up to the history of America, 397 years that we've been here and how brutal slavery was, we should see that because just like Jews say, never forget. Snoop, we will never forget. So now the ball is in your court. Let's see what you're going to do for shizzle my nizzle. <laughs> Reach Reverend Rowland. Well, I see Reverend Martin had a lot to say. Before I even address Roland and what he said, I'm actually going to address Snoop. I understand and believe what Snoop said. I had a couple of my friends when I first posted this and they inboxed me what they felt about it and some posted on there. Look, the literal thing about this whole thing is uh, some people say, well, the Jews have movies on themselves and the Jews are not looked at in this country the way we as blacks are looked at in this country. Everything denigrating, ghetto, reckless, it always is put on us. So to put out a movie on us that it, that talks about slavery once again, it's just giving more imagery to something that we need to move on from. That is essential that Snoop and many, many, many of us in America are standing on. It's time for us to raise our economics and stop talking about this slavery. History is out there and history is something that when you want to know about it, it's very relative and very easy to find. Yeah, I agree with that. I also, I also agree with Snoop too, bro. I also agree, you know what I'm saying? So everything that he was feeling, and you know what I mean? And he kept it, he kept it 100%, you know? He ain't go, he ain't go out of his, his um, out of bounds. He, he didn't go out of, out of bounds with anything, what he was stating. You know, it's just the point that our people just, from what I've seen, from being in this country for as long as I've been in this country, from seeing what the real problem is, why we can't move forward, one of the biggest problems is we're stuck in history. Yeah. No one's telling none of you guys not to know your history and know what has happened, but that is not going to help us right now in 2016. We have to learn to build our economics within each other, start becoming entrepreneurs, start connecting with Africa so we can import and export. These are the things that we need to do today. When Roland Martin's talking about Snoop helping to produce and put his money into more movies that Hollywood's going to show, that doesn't help us. If anything, we're spending more money. Because when we sit back in front of our television and watch these specials, they made two, three million dollars off of it from the advertising around it. We didn't get a part of that. If they decide to put it in the movie theaters, same thing applies. We're going in there spending 10 and 15 and 20 dollars to watch a movie on ourselves. I've never heard of a movie being able to help a community do what they need to do. It might be entertaining, but after two hours and you step back into the real world, you got to deal with real world issues, not stuff that was planted on some movie. So to have a bunch of movies about what has happened to us might be great in visual aspects of knowing what the problem is, but it's not going to help us out of the problems that we face today in the United States as they're killing us on the street. True. Yeah, true. So I truly think, Roland, you you lost the marker on this one. And I think you got a little too you know, instead of stating what the facts of what was going on, his weed smoking and making yeah. corn. That had nothing to do with a black man in America stating what he feels about his race and what is going on. I don't know what the problem is with our African American brothers and sisters. We can speak. We don't have to be what you want us to be. We can speak the way we want. I don't agree with you know, Mr. Martin and what he, like you said, how he bringing up the topic of that. I don't know. Maybe he, he mad because he can't get the good girl like that. But um, <laughs> but uh, there was no reason for that still. I think his, his verbiage just went a little too left. And the whole thing about it, that at the very beginning of the video, Snoop said no disrespect. I mean, when, when can we listen to people and what they say? He didn't come out flipping off at the mouth. Really? He was talking about what he felt, something that a lot of us feel. 
So what we've done is open up the phone lines. I see that we have some people that are ready to make some comments. Yeah. We'll be back in a minute. Stay tuned when we get. LPMR Speaks Talk Radio. Wall Street banks shower Washington politicians with campaign contributions and speaking fees. And what do they get for it? A rigged economy, tax breaks and bailouts, all held in place by a corrupt campaign finance system. And while Washington politicians are paid over $200,000 an hour for speeches, they oppose raising the living wage to $15 an hour. $200,000 an hour for them, but not even 15 bucks an hour for all Americans. Enough is enough. I'm Bernie Sanders, and I approve this message. Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. If you've ever wondered why so many black people believe in the man or conspiracy theories, it's because whenever anyone gets just even a little bit close to helping black people out, they end up shot in the face. Think it over. Your mind and the rest will follow. Think it over. The blind don't be so shallow. Free your mind. Yo, that's him right up there. Stop the car right here. Gang violence. Gunshot. On fifth and vine. Police. Jail. A family. Oh, it's gonna be okay. A brother alone. Hey, little man, come here. What you got on your back? A sister afraid. A father worried. Son, are you okay? A child without. <laughs> A mother counting the days till her boy is home. I just hope my baby's safe. These are the sounds of gang violence. From the day you're sentenced, your family starts facing the true hard time with you. Something to think about before you commit a gun crime. Gun crimes hit home. This message brought to you by Project Safe Neighborhoods and the Ad Council. Join the conversation. Is something biting in your reality? Call now. 646-580-6603 or email us at realitybytesradio at gmail.com and tell us what's on your mind. All right, all right. Back from the break. The lines are open. Carla, you say what? Hey, it's Oshun and Shakur. And in regards to the boycott of Roots, Snoop Dogg, and Mr. Ronald Martin, um, I just simply have this to say. I agree with Snoop 100%. 100%. If you want to see Roots, go on YouTube and watch Roots. We don't need to constantly remake movies that um, Real tough. portray this image of slavery. We know we were slaves. We know that's where, I, we I, know I, that we came from that point. We know that. We don't need to continue to perpetuate this image in our communities. This isn't doing anything positive for us. It's just putting in your mind that you were a slave, and you are a slave, and you are always going to be a slave. Uh -huh. We're currently in a slave situation, Mr. Martin. Why do we continue to need to see that we were slaves? We're slaves now. If you want to see Roots, if you want to learn about your history, really? then go on YouTube and watch Roots. You can watch it for free on YouTube. But why do they continue to waste dollars to, to send this movie out, to remake this movie? For what? You could have made so many other different things. And in regards to you and, and Jews and the Holocaust, dude, Jews are the ones that's making this movie. They making they movies, they making our movies. Like, come on, be serious. They probably really run your network. Reality Bites. Hey! She blew up the drawbridge on that one. Oshun Shakur. I'm back to you. And I'm saying what the young lady is saying is definitely 100% right. It's just utterly ridiculous. And everybody want to talk about making movies. Again, making movies ain't going to do anything for us. We're going to get to okay. another right. caller now. Question. Why is it that black people can be together on a bunch of bullshit, selling drugs, going to party, doing a bunch of dumb shit, but we can't be together in unity as in one and better in a financial situation? That is my question of the day. Why? Well, I think that's an excellent question, and it actually goes with the theme of what we're talking about. I mean, if you think about it, 
long term effect if you're forever told you're a slave you come from slavery you're a slave and let me explain something to you ladies and gentlemen there's a difference between being enslaved and being a slave but if you're told that you're a slave from the stories that are out about you then where do you have to rise to so i think that's where we get when we talk about our brothers and sisters that were born in this country where we get this nature of always acting ghetto and just living your life with your on your sleeve you know all your business out in the street you don't care if anybody know that's where i believe a lot of that comes from because you don't really see a lot of other races do that the way our people do it and it's not all black people born in this country known as african-american but when you look at the disproportionate nature across america of the same kind of looking type of people with the same kind of ghetto attitude that's what you get I mean I'm in New York and then when I moved to Atlanta I met the same type of people if I could say that with the ghetto nature you know the ratchet nature the do whatever I don't give a fuck nature I think that's where it comes from if we go back to being kings and queens and coming from a place where we created everything then we only have one place to look but up so I think that was an excellent question and it wraps up what we just finished talking about and I think we got a good consensus that people understand we must raise our economy yes 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 this is a good segment right here and when we get back from break we're going to continue the conversation topic about being black in America stay tuned we got a whole lot more right here on Reality Bites LPMR Speaks Talk Radio Radio Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. If you've ever wondered why so many black people believe in the man or conspiracy theories, it's because whenever anyone gets just even a little bit close to helping black people out, they end up shot in the face. Think it Free over. Mind and the rest will follow. Think it over. Blind, don't be so shallow. Free your mind. Wall Street banks shower Washington politicians with campaign contributions and speaking fees. And what do they get for it? A rigged economy, tax breaks and bailouts, all held in place by a corrupt campaign finance system. And while Washington politicians are paid over $200,000 an hour for speeches, they oppose raising the living wage to $15 an hour. $200,000 an hour for them, but not even 15 bucks an hour for all Americans. Enough is enough. I'm Bernie Sanders, and I approve this message. Bimbo, dog, fat pig. Real quotes from Donald Trump about women. A person who is very flat-chested is very hard to be a 10. I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. Look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? She had the height. She had the beauty. She was crazy. But these are minor details. I like kids. I mean, I won't do anything to take care of them. I'll supply funds, and she'll take care of the kids. You know, it really doesn't matter what they write, as long as you've got a young and beautiful piece of ass. That must be a pretty picture. You dropping to your knees. There was blood coming out of her eyes. Blood coming out of her... wherever. Women. You have to treat them like ass. This is how Donald Trump talks about our mothers, our sisters, our daughters. LPMR.207 What's good? This your boy Life O. Hey, tune in to LPMR.207 Andy Mix Monday through Friday 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. And Saturdays 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Playing some of the hottest in the artists out here. That's right. Go to mobileonlineradio.net that's mobileonlineradio.net. LPMR.207. Just go ahead and check that out. Back at it again. Thank you for continuing to join us here on Reality Bites. We're going to pick up the conversation on our economics, on what we need to learn to do, on what we need to learn to look for when we are spending our money within the system. Let's talk about some of the ways that we utilize our money and we don't even think about it. We don't get respect for the money that we spend. Let's talk about McDonald's and Burger King, all these other corporate establishments. We walk in there, and if they tell us something is $10, we don't even get upset. We think it's a bargain. 
we run straight to the cash register to pay for it. But then you walk into a black establishment or you meet a black entrepreneur and then you befriend me to get something for free. That's not the way it works. And if you want it to work that way, then start in your conversation. I might not have the capital, but I'd like to do a barter system with you. See, it's not just the actions of blacks. It's the reactions of blacks. Go ahead, brother. Yo, I was gonna say back back to the, the clothing situation. Um, I heard you know I'm saying like sometime part of the in the beginning of the year that it was gonna bring cross colors back. What's up with that? No disrespect to cross colors, but it ain't owned by uh, what was his name again? Kyle Kanaj. Yes, it ain't owned by him. It's owned by Japanese. So yeah, they'll bring anything back because we buy everything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You get what I'm saying, T? Yeah, 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 man. Right. So they'll always do that. See, that's what business does. And when we understand what business and what a corporation does, then we can understand better at what we have to apply to get what we need out of that corporation. So you want to sell to my people? What you going to do when you reach a million dollars in the day? Are you going to help our community? Are you going to put together a fund so the money that we've spent can go back into the community after you've made your profit margin? See, this is the way we have to start becoming conscious. See, people think becoming conscious is being able to scream black power. Yeah. That's not conscious, that's a word. Making that word conscious and using the ability of black power is making sure that you love your own and don't sideline them. For me, for instance, I applaud Barack Obama because as the first black president, he had more than a little bit that he had to go through just to change rules, regulations, and laws, not only in America, but for black people. Now, I know I hear all you may say is already, he ain't do nothing for black people. That's white supremacy speaking through your skin. I tell you that because we ain't never had a black president. Let me show you what solidarity and being black is. If tomorrow, President Obama went out to the lawn and decided to take a dump and they put it on the news, and somebody asked me what I feel about it, I don't feel no kind of way about it. The man had to do what he had to do. Simple as that. Now, behind closed doors, if me and LIFO speaking, and I said, now why that fool go and do something like that? No disrespect to the president or the presidency, but that's the way we speak. Yeah. That's part of what black power is. Stop sidelining your people. Stop talking ridiculous things on all these social media about your people. And then talk about you don't care. You need to care. Because let me tell you something about the biggest fight my African-American brothers and sisters will have in this country if you don't get your mind right. It's going to be with your same black people. Because this ridiculous notion that we are less than anybody else, this ridiculous notion that we're ghetto needs to stop. You can be under, underprivileged and not be ratchet. Yeah, that's true. You can have less than your neighbor and still not be a thief. That's true. So we gotta stop this ridiculous notion of just spilling our guts and our mouth about our people to the world. Don't sit up and tell me black power and don't wanna talk about another black woman or a black man in your post. And it has nothing to do with uplifting us on these white corporate websites. Because you guys think you own, you don't own nothing. They gave it to you free. When they decide to do an update, they don't ask you if you want to update, they update. (laughs) Whether you like it or not, get get to use it or leave it alone. You can keep your Facebook page or lose your Facebook page. They don't care. It ain't yours. That goes to the, to the conversation about owning your own. Our brothers and sisters in this country sells everything and their soul. They buy everything without respecting who put it out there, without researching what these people or this company has done for you lately. So you march up and down on every social media, posting your pictures that you no longer own, Posting your videos that you no longer own, because let me explain something to you. They own it once you've given it to them, because they gave you the platform for free. How do you think Mark Zuckerberg became the billionaire that he is? Because we on his social media platform, and a black person don't get nothing from it. You've got to have your own key to push for your own destiny. 
you can't be talking about black empowerment, but you're using the white system. See, we're going to keep it one here. Whether you like it or not, it makes no difference. We are at a prevalent time in our lives, and if we keep pushing and shoving, we're going to gain what we need to get, which is leadership in America. Not just for blacks, but for all people. We are the natural leaders. Look at the way we are suppressed in this country and we still become doctors, lawyers, entertainers, owning businesses. Stop letting the American broadcasting system, whether radio or television, keep telling you something different about your people. Well, as I can see, it's about that time. Everybody stay in tuned and in touch with us. And until next Sunday at 10 p.m., Reality Bites. It's time to bite back. Yo, yo, real, real talk, real talk. Gee!